Vikings. That is some show. So I saw the first three episodes, as I mentioned. And yes. It's fantastic. I'd like to, if, I were, if someone were to ask me what, how I would define it, I would say it's a mix between Game of Thrones and Sons of Anarchy put together. So wow. So what, how would you That's define a good description. it? You've actually been on the set and <laughs> you know the story. I would say Vikings is, um, the great thing about it, I, about it is it's original and from what people have been saying who've seen it, I, they've agreed that it's, it's a very original show and I think um, the, the exciting thing about it is that it, it will show parts of Viking culture and Viking history that a lot of people haven't seen before and you know I think there are a lot of misconceptions about Vikings. Mm -hmm and that period of history, um, you know, anything from like horned helmets that are a complete myth to the Vikings being these absolute raging psychopaths that dominated Northern Europe, you know, and, and so I think what this show will, uh, will be doing is kind of blowing out, out of the water any kind of preconceived ideas about the Vikings. So that's, you made a really good point in terms of um, preconceived these preconceived ideas, and um, while they are brutal, they're also, you know, they follow rules, and they have, and so that's pretty interesting and fascinating, and I think the fact that the History Channel did a really good job of trying to portray that in the most historical aspect is pretty interesting. So, when you were on set, did you, um, did you guys work really hard on a daily basis to try to keep it historically correct all the time? Yes, of course, and I mean it. It's for history, so. <laughs> but no, I, I, all, all of the amazing details that you'll see, all come from the genius that is Michael Hurst, um, our creator and our writer. You, you know, he. Yeah, I mean, he's a history major. Is that how you say it in the U.S.? He's a history graduate from Oxford, and you know, it, he knows his history, as I'm sure you have seen from the Tudors and other historical works like Elizabeth. He's done so. Uh, all of the historical accuracy, you know, he was on set all the time and, and talking to us about, you know, the details of how utensils were used in, in, their, in their world. And so, yeah, I mean, it's just great when you have all of that given to you as an actor because you kind of feel like you're not really working <laughs> in a way. You're yeah. like, in a way, you kind of walk onto these sets and you just are in a Viking world when you have that much detail okay. in the production values. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I think he's done an amazing job in creating this. So let's talk about your world. character. Uh, how do you say his name again? Athelstan. Athelstan. Yeah. And believe me, that is the easiest one that you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Athelstan, tell, tell, tell me about him. Athelstan is an Anglo-Saxon monk who is captured by Ragnar. Uh, on his first raid west to the UK and uh, he's taken back to Scandinavia by Ragnar and kept as a slave as part of Ragnar's family and his his journey throughout this first season is what's so exciting for me playing Athelstan the, the changes that he goes through and the way that he has to try to adapt the, to this completely unreal new alien environment to him, this pagan society. It's uh, a fascinating character, yeah. In some way do you feel that your character is a little bit the voice of uh, the viewer who's also asking those questions, but no one, no one in that environment is gonna ask that, but you as a yeah. character would I wanna high five you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. It's um, uh, in the first initial weeks on, on, on set, Michael, and I discussed that he really wants Athelstan to be the eyes of the audience um, because he's the one character that represents, if you like, near enough our modern day Western society. So everything that the viewers will learn about the Vikings uh, week in, week out, hopefully they'll be learning through the eyes of Athelstan because Athelstan is this new outsider into their community and he will take them on this educational journey. That so, yeah, and it's great playing that character because you kind of feel like you're getting to learn everything as well at the same time, yeah. the actor, you know. Yeah. And you did actually, so you were mentioning you did actually have to shave your 
your head. That is. I did actually clean. shave a circle in the top of my head. Yes, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's pretty brutal. You have, you have to keep it, you know, it like just shave for like all the. Oh yeah. Well, do you know what? It was fascinating actually because, um, obviously, when you're shooting episodic television, you don't shoot in sequence. Sometimes you have to jump forward an episode and film that scene from there, and then jump back, and so. It was probably the biggest challenge for the hair department is keeping my stubble, like because uh, it it obviously grows as yeah, time yeah. goes on, yeah. and so trying to match the the length of shaped stubble area was <laughs> interesting, but um yeah no I uh, had it frequently shaved. Yeah. It was interesting experience and then at the end of it you were like okay finally i can grow it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's yeah really well i tried in the hair department they had these like toupees is that is that what you call yeah, them yeah, yeah, yeah. like basically yeah. circle of hair that you can stick on okay that we had to do you know as the season went on um because my hair wasn't growing back fast enough obviously but I, I tried to take one of them home with me at the end of the shooting because I thought <laughs> I can't walk around with a shaved circle in the top of my head. Uh, they didn't let me, so I walked around uh, with a shaved circle in the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, so ball caps. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. So uh, you, was what was your idea of what a Viking was before you joined the series, and what's and how did that evolve? I think I was very similar to lots of people in that I thought that they were this very barbaric race of people who pillaged their way across Northern Europe and, you know, sacked town after town and, you know, raping and, and, and plundering treasure. And, and I think that the thing that I loved getting to know during the course of the season was their human aspect to their society and their, you know, their, the fact that they're just, they're just people with just as many different ups and downs and dynamics in their relationships with each other as, as we do have nowadays. You know, they fall in love, they, they, they care for each other, they, you know, they have pets that they call pets and that they don't just slaughter for, to eat at, <laughs> in the evening meals. You know, it, it, was, uh, it was really nice. And um, I think that's what will keep bringing people back week after week is to watch characters and and their relationships and stories and and their fights and their like you know love for each other and yeah that was the the thing that I was most surprised by and loved the most so obviously without spoiling the end um, do you think there is a possibility of the series going on beyond that or just um, it being a nine part series I wish is the correct not I think or I know because I don't know I don't know at all I think it's <laughs> well it is completely dependent on you guys the world to watch the show and, and if it's popular I'm, I'm hoping that we get to do it again I would love to go back to Ireland and I'd love to do it for the next 10 years if I could it was just <laughs> it was like a 5 month summer camp really oh, it was awesome. it was such good fun and um, I uh, yeah I'd be on a plane tomorrow <laughs> if they if they let me so back to the production, uh, so be actually being in Ireland um, those five months, what moment sticks with you to this day? <sighs> wow. Um, and you're going to make me pick one, aren't you? I'm not allowed to tell you the 50,000. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know what? I'm going to be generous, too. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. I mean, I think uh, something I really remember vividly was our our table read actually um, you know it was my first ever it, this is my first ever television series and arriving in Ireland and doing a table read with all the cast I, I you just kind of sit there and look around and I just remember sitting there thinking I'm gonna have a lot of fun for the next five months and uh, just the, the people that I was with were so talented and so professional and good at what they do and I, I learned so much from everyone on set over the course of time. Um, I don't know, I mean, one particular moment from filming, I guess, well, the first scene that I had to film, actually, was uh, seen in episode three, mm -hmm. which you may have seen, yeah. you may not, I, the first scene I had to film on the whole show was the scene where Ragnar and Lagatha ask Athelstan 
whether he'd like to join them in their bed uh, in the throes of passion, as it were. And uh, that was quite <laughs> nerve-wracking in the, you know, it was like my first scene to shoot and there you have Travis Fimmel and Catherine Winnick who are both drop-dead gorgeous human beings <laughs> half naked in front of you trying to convince you to go That's and your first scene. sleep with them, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, that, none of that was like acting. <laughs> Athelstan sat there like, <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> so yeah, it was. Uh, no, I had so much fun with all of them. It was so, so good. Cool. So, um, do you have a message for viewers as they get ready to watch uh, the first episode? Um, I think just. Uh, um. Yeah, don't hang on to the couch too hard, I guess. Don't grip it too hard, it will disappear. It's, it's, it's going to be very exciting. And I think, uh, I think um, yeah, just get ready for all of the battles and, and the swords and shields, but also get ready for a family drama and uh, get ready to meet some really quite interesting characters as well.